playing right now. I mean, the only thing that they haven't done is gotten the win. The road to the finals starts now. Three more games left. Half a million dollars. The chance for Korea to be get victorious and raise that trophy in front of the home crowd. For everyone else, it's a big chunk of change and a potential spot, an extra slot for their respective region at PGC later this year. Here we go then. Miramar's all said and done. James called it the green grassy pastures. Talk me through this playing path, Poro. What do we expect? Well, for, for one thing, this is a, a more forgiving playing path than we've seen recently here on Erangel. Uh, we've been having these far uh, west to east plains, but they've been a little bit farther south, this time going a little bit farther north. So a lot more of the northern part of the map is going to be open. We should not see everybody be able to drop either directly to their loot spot or be able to find vehicles without having to compete too, too much. Teetering a little bit more toward the south. It's not quite a Solznovka plane. Anyone likes to be looting further afield in the north, a bit more of a difficult task. You'll be looking for vehicles. Try and get your boots on the ground as quickly as possible. Get in the cars and get further up towards that pinnacle area. Home position in this one does speak volumes. We will be keeping an eye on this game. I don't, if there were going to be a potential of a hot drop, one, we would see it definitely on the map building up. And two, I think you see that towards the later stage of the game. You either go for the very final game when there's nothing else to lose, or you actually go the game before the final game. So those teams can't react. Those teams can't just as a backup plan, emergency backup plan, which we have seen teams do before, oh, go somewhere else. Boy. And I... I'm going to say this now. When we <laughs> sat in the back and we were talking about this game, we both said, I wonder if we'll get a millisecond. I wonder if we'll get one. And I you, wonder if we get one. You know, and, and I was going to point out, you know, this is one of the times that we've seen no teams going oh. for military as we see Roji trying to get that vehicle. He does run into Vietnam. RDNX is going to provide him a little bit of support here from range. Basil should be fine. Everything should be squared away. But, man, that is going to make things difficult for Korea as we see, they are still making their transition into South George just to get the loop process started here. Yo, all by himself, though. Look at that. He's got a friend. Brazilians and driving. There's going to be a <laughs> meme that rings loud in many people's ears for years. He did touch on the certain players that are just in the distance from Pio. I don't think he'll realize that Turkey is lingering rather close. Ira, and if there's a man who can, we saw him yesterday with the one versus three. Yes, they did stupidly position themselves in single individual formation and, and just approach him as single players. Germany, the second team actually to get onto Sosnovka Island. I do see a member of Thailand on the map. It's already it's going to be Thanawat. He's there as well, just on the coastline. So certainly not in a uh, strong position, so to speak. Germany will go Novo load up. Looks like Chinese Taipei, they have the same idea. They'll grab the boats and get the hell out of Dodge. They want to work their way onto the island as well. Potential that they come from the south side. That is a big, big circle. Yeah. It does cut off towards the south. There's a hell of a lot of water in play here. The Finns, this time they uh, actually get across the bridge without as much damage yesterday, getting ram raided by the Russians. Yeah, this was, uh, this was an interesting crossing for the Finns the last time, running in, losing two to the Russians early, but this time going to get all four across. Once again, though, Germany doing a, a early transition, taking that Novo spot, getting over there. They might have Pryo and Radio Tower, but this was this was them taking the initiative and getting over there fast. Last time it didn't pay off for them in the end, unfortunately. So maybe a shot of redemption here a little bit for the Germans. Let me see. Oh. Chinese Taipei in the distance. You can see Chris is just rotating. Maybe he goes for an angle, potentially just going for different loot. I turned up on the... Uh, that is a very <laughs> naked milk. Yeah, imagine turning up on, onto the shoreline at range with a shotgun. <laughs> um, I know a joke can do wonder... Is he... Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. you've, you've oh, bluffed no. it. You've oh. completely and utterly messed it up, son. Oh, no. That's okay. You could see the idea. I mean, yeah, he... he's trying to get an angle, but... I, th I, I think that they, uh, this will, I mean, if, if nothing else here, Chris now knows that Chinese Taipei has not continued their rotation, their wrap around, and they should know that they're right on top of each other. Brexco's going to find Shai Wei, and that is going to be a German going down quickly. Follow-up nades there. Should be a confirmation, but it hasn't bounced too far. The problem, oh, it did the damage, you could see. Yeah, gone. Okay, so they lose one. Chris is out of the game, so essentially the last two are standing here in Nova, Russia. They have an eye on Canada inside the little garage. This is just on the opposing side near the beachhead. I'm assuming it's around Ferry Pier, yeah. given the 
area of the map. Maluk will hear the vehicle go away, but he doesn't. The one thing you don't want to be done here is baited. If you think, okay, the Russians have left me, look at this. Oh. A doozy's still here, so if he thinks the vehicle's gone, there's going to be no, no longer anybody here. If he steps out to this, a doozy could have his way. Moody going to be the support act. They'll send this one across. They will see Ira in the boat, but more than likely leave him. If they go on top of this to try and get a, a point fair play, if he's got the scope and he's got the gun, he has. SLR can do the job. Plenty of bullets in the bag as well. 762, you hit them in the head, it hurts. Ira could be in for a face fault. Nope, he's good, he's safe, and he's alive for now. So Turkey, they can make their way across. The rest of his teammates, they are on the opposing side of Solznovka. It's essentially really screwing Canada over. We're taking the last boat available there in Primor, so now Canada has to decide whether they want to keep looking for another boat at the Ferry Pier location or try to take their chances with that Western Bridge. We can see the Eastern Bridge right now. China on top of it. And Ola, what do you have here? Let's share. What do we got? It's the... We got some treats. A little 4X, a little 3X. We got some 2X the down there. Korean loot sharing. Yeah. Look at this. Who's Who wants Sniper, boys? I'll take it. All right, here's a scope. Somebody needed some. Uh, apparently, the Loki didn't get the message du, 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 that, we're, uh, that we're all bananas today. Have a look at the players and people on the map from my side who's actually going to be late to this one. Vietnam, all four players split between Stalber and Severny. They are miles away from combat. Brazil, yeah. middle of the island, just passing Mansion side. Japan, they're actually in the water. They're in the eastern side, just coming past Mill to Power. They've got to be careful because there is two teams still down in Nova. If they make landfall in Nova, unfortunately, they could die. Korea, they'll take the west side approach. Turkey is positioned on the west side of the cliffs on the Soznovka. So for Korea, it has to be a clean entry here. It yep. would be devastating now. It would be interesting and fun, but it would be devastating for them to get a 16th place placement. But it would even up that scoreboard and make things just a little bit tighter. The southern side of Sosnovka, it's completely clear for now. But we do have United Kingdom and Japan who have yet to make landfall. Yeah, and as you said, Korea still making their long rotation around. So they went to the south last time. They're probably going to do the same thing again. Again, Finland finding action early here. Right on top of them is the Russians. See the kill Pome. That was on the western bridge. A little bit of a bridge camp going on here as a doozy. Half health has to pull back onto this. Tixu. A little bit forward for his squad. They, it looks like it's only two for Finland right now. The other two still down at the crossroads, just a little further. I don't know if there's anything we can take too much from this because it is the Nations Cup at the end of the day, but we do have two PEL teams essentially here. Mm -hmm. And when we look towards Face Clan and Team Liquid, this is where they like to go when we get these islands. When we get these circles, they do head towards these way in these compounds. When you have players on both sides of the coin, there may be some ideology there that they want to work this way, and they've just happened to match each other up with the same thinking. Right. Mixi holds the angle. SLR six times. Tixu is going for an absolutely insanity oh, run. The smokes do the job, but there's so much crossfire there. I don't know how he gets away from the backside. They tagged him up. Jempty, if that was actually bait to draw that. fire and attention away, then that's a, a level 900 IQ player. That's what it seemed like it was there. Tixu's going to go ahead and just barely escape getting uh, getting PUBG'd, essentially, as Yumpty has gone down now to Insight. We can see in the kill feed and flush. We're checking out Chinese Taipei. This is all going on. Uh, where are we? This is just south of Radio Tower here. We see uh, United Kingdom has made landfall just to the south as we check back in with the Aussies who have moved in behind the Finns. Uh, while they were preoccupied with the Russian squad. We actually might have an engagement here. Vietnam and Brazil, they're the last ones inside the circle on the opposing side, the Eastern Bridge. We need to stay around this POV. You can see them. Oh, Sapao's having a... Oh. making a complete meal of it down there. They've heard the vehicle. They've got out there just standing and waiting. If Brazil know the information, though, and have heard the audible sound of the car, oh. they could come through. Circle, hardships, it goes down south. The Koreans, they're safe for now, but it depends. Where does the play come from the teams? Generally speaking, you wouldn't want to play this backside. There are two compounds on the edge of Soznovka, but nothing else really towards the beachhead. It then becomes a problem if you have to work your way into the central side of this circle. The problem with these compounds that are on this southern side is they are very, oh, very popular. Gosh, Godvi has already made his way down there, so this is going to be a lot of trouble here. As you see Brazil now making their way across the bridge, leaving Vietnam behind. This could be a, uh, an opportunity maybe for Brazil to maybe get a little bit of redemption here, try to hold out the Vietnamese, but it looks like they're going to keep on going. I suppose the reason that they're going for those compounds is because of how much water's still in play. Yeah. It has to come toward the island. Yeah, absolutely.
Absolutely. Korea's just made landfall. Those two compounds that they would usually be gifted with, to be fair, open and free, have China and Turkey inside. Russia still on the... Not on the back foot, certainly, but very aware. I mean, these guys are in a lot of trouble right now. I mean, the two compounds that are right there have been fully occupied by Turkey and China, and there is just a lot of open ground here. They do have some, uh, some they can play line of sight here, but this is not where you want to be if you're trying to make a play for late game. Another team falls into the trap that the Aussies are trying to set, leaving these compounds open oh. to an open. Unfortunately, it might be one of the Brazilians turning out here. Oh. Udia will hold fire for now. He is a solo man. Uh-oh, needs to be... Oh, so he doesn't know he's there. He's no idea, Moro. Oh. He's absolutely no idea. He does now. Oh, gee. Trying to get the shots in with that AK spray. Not only going to land one bullet here, so it's down to just a straight 1v1. Roji, wow. And uh, Udyame fire. He's going to lose it, but only just. Pan him. Oh, he's got him. Pan him. Donk. All right, Brazil trying to regain a little bit of their dignity with a little bit of showmanship there on the kill to Udyr Bay Fires. We check in with Vietnam trying to make their way into the airfield. We can see the rest of the German squad scattered like ants. Looks like they're trying to make a play for these bunkers. He's very close to actually getting out play there. You could see what the thought process was. He was looking towards the door of the shack, and that's generally where you think, okay, maybe they play off the back of that, but he wasn't. He was playing behind it, comes around, unfortunately loses the gun battle, does go down. Germany lose one, we move across now. Chinese type here. They found Thailand, USA oh, also no, found Thailand. Is this is pretty madness, oh. chaos, Sampa, Valley, it's dead. That's the confirmation. Duckman strikes again every single time. The man is a machine. Four United States players there, they have a Absolute Woo! wall of smoke built up. Pahawaka just barely surviving the explosion of that vehicle. Oh, but there's push? nobody there really preventing Duckmans from pushing onto that. Pio has fallen. That may have been two from... We're trying to keep a track of this kill feed because it's going to get madness. Everyone on these rotations. Japan is in their head-to-head -head battle across the street. Brazil, they have the high ground. They rain fire from above. One of them's bleeding at the wayside. The grenades are there. Great Britain's here as well. So maybe Japan just get caught between a rock and a hard place. You'd expect them not to survive this engagement if... And that's only if the United Kingdom get a little bit overzealous and go a bit deeper. Once they crest this ridgeline, they'll see the fight. They'll be able to get involved. But can Brazil survive themselves? Many players are damaged. But where's the rest of Japan? They're trying oh. to run. That car is in dire straits. All right, we see the circle has Bye. gone north. And there goes the car. And there goes Japan from first to worst in the space of one game. Now Brazil in a lot of trouble here, having to make their way through the United Kingdom. We check in back with the USA. Thailand still putting the pressure on. In the back lines, Korea has still been held at gunpoint. Basically, on the beach. China did steal one of them. Pio went down, so they've lost their main man, their main fragger. But let's not count them out just yet. We've seen what they can do with two or three men. USA still, unfortunately, feeling the full force. Sharky answers back. There's one. There's all. He gets two, but the overpeak's there. Shipsy now needs to seal the deal. And I'm sorry, Poro. I know you're a United uh, States man, but a 15th place placement just won't do it. The boys have been putting forth a great effort over this weekend, but unfortunately this time, the fight for the barrels. Thailand just putting on, just turning the screws, turning on the heat. They are putting forth a big effort here in this game number three, trying to see if they can make a climb in the leaderboards. That's going to be a nice four kills going to that effort, though. Chris with a long distance spray. The M4 is a weapon to be doing it with, especially if you've got the old stock and stick on it and the red dot. Hold the spray down and hope for the best. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to just feed them now? No. They're already okay. at the top of the board. Stop giving them points, for God's sake. They don't need any more. I mean, in fairness to Brazil, you don't think that anybody, the full team is going to be hiding out down there. <laughs> I bet, I, I'm actually, I bet Korea kind of wishes they would have been able to get those two kills without having to explode the vehicle because they are actually stuck right here uh, on this beach line. As we now check in with Canada, they have an idea. Looks like they hear the shots coming from Finland. Finland completely unaware that they have some Canucks just below the hill. Several stalemates across the board over in the west, Canada, on top of the hill. Finland in the compounds below them. They can't really do too much. This is the fight we're speaking about. Excuse me, the compounds above them. They're on the, the deficit side of the hill. They can't be seen for now. Both teams trying to get a read on this. Further afield, Australia and Argentina basically holding each other 
directly at gunpoint from across the street. Turkey and Russia, same scenario. One player inside a hut. Russia just bunkering down between the broken bridge line, oh, excuse me, the, the ridge line, and the little houses, Germany across the board. And then actually inside military base itself, we've still got Thailand, Vietnam. And then on the broken plains, there's Chinese Taipei in the mix just to try and finish anybody off who wants to make that murderous run. Yeah, this position that's being held currently by Finland, very, very strong spot uh, given this circle. Is, and if, you know, they get a little bit of luck here, and oh, it looks like Sam B might have spotted him out, but that's a lot of people right down your line of sight as Drassel is going to get the down onto Sam B. And now the Finns are aware. They're down to just two here. And look at that. This could be huge for Canada if they can clear this out. The problem is the plane split. Now, it might work if Mex's position isn't given away. You need Tixu to make some sort of noise and draw their attention. Mex is going down low. If he comes from behind with that scar, he could get a knock or two, and then it's time for Tixu to strike. Tixu now needs to be the anchor point here and just be the nuisance. Yes. Maybe shoot a few shots, draw attention, act like you're in an engagement, do something. Draw attention away from Mexi. Well, that's that it. low land flank. If he knocks Moody now, that's the overwatcher. That's the man in the back with the scope, potentially. This is Moody's job, is to, be, to see this coming. He's holding it back there, watching that low line here. Oh, no, United Kingdom trying to send it in. Whoa. And they've got two to the vehicle. They've managed to stay alive for now, but Vard has been flushed out, and there is just nowhere to go. Smoke's in hand, ready to drop them where they need him. Moody actually found Mexi. Good God. With That's a name. Hail Mary and a half. And now it comes down to Tixu, the lone Finn. But really, what, you can, what can you do against four Canadians that are absolutely feeling it in this tournament? I mean, they have been playing phenomenally well. They started off a little bit slow, but they've turned it on big time here in the next couple of days. And that's going to be Michael going down to the Germans and United Kingdom going out once again in 14th place. Because the caster, I think, UK caster, NA caster, and your teams have butchered it. Oh, well, yeah, it's no, one we, of those things. It's fine. It's we can fine. still all keep hope in Russia and Canada. We'll here just, we go. We'll just keep going. We're still rooting here. Summer has now spotted him out, and Loki's going to go down. That's going to be a quick and easy flush here for China. Aqua 5 trying to provide a little bit of support for his fallen teammate, but look how widespread Korea is on this beach line. Which, to be fair, is the better player. Yeah. I understand why they're sending one person off there is essentially the sniffer dog, because this is such an open area. They don't have vehicles. They'll only have a limited amount of smokes, which they will... Oh, oh my God! That's amazing! He just walked up to him and essentially just... He, he could have... This could be it! This could be one of their lowest placings yet. 13th it is. South Korea's gone. China gets the job done. All four players. Now, they have a huge, a huge lead in this competition. Absolutely. They did pick up two points thanks to Brazil running into them. But They're still, another... There is potential this could happen again. If they get another placement like that, the top of the table starts to get that bit more scary. Yeah, this is... Okay, so going into this round, uh, Korea had 29-point lead on Vietnam in second place. Vietnam currently still four strong on the north side. Uh, they have nobody really around them. Thailand kind of making their way in. But, yeah, we have all eyes on Vietnam right now to see what they can do. And keep in mind, there's not a lot of separation behind anybody in that top five. Everybody very, very close. I'm intrigued to see if Vietnam and Thailand, if they engage here and they get the knock, they realize that it's both of those teams if they disengage from the battle and say, okay, that's another SEA team. We'll, we'll disengage from this one. It's not necessarily teaming, but we know for a fact that there is this spot on for Worlds. Let's let's see, and let's see if this does proactively do it. I don't think they will do because they're actually going to move away from this one. Sosnovka should be open for them. They'll have more cover from that hillside where they are. Coming down will be treacherous. You have Argentina. You have Australia. You have many teams that could see them from afar. But the circle is not favorable to either of these two teams in the north. Keep an eye on you. We got Vietnam, Russia, Canada, Thailand, all right behind Korea there. All four strong here. As now Andy FPS has been spotted out. Brazil is going to get finished off. Godby going to pick up that one as Ken uh, Mert with a long range mini 14 shots there. But yeah, we have, uh, I mean, all the people that are right nipping at the heels of Korea, albeit from, a, from quite a distance. You know, this is this is exactly what they needed to have happen. Vietnam, Russia, Canada, Thailand, they're all up there still. China down in seventh. As soon as you see Korea go down, you're thinking, okay, well, 
This is now open a little bit more. If you can frag out, if you can pick up 15 kills and a win, that's that's a 25-point game instantly. I mean, what would that do to the scoreboard? I'm not there good you at go. maths enough, but it certainly send them into the 100-point club. Tixu down, Canada finally punched the nail in the coffin for Finland. We're into his top 10. And this kind of, you know, we were talking about it a little bit early, this position that Canada is holding right now, the highest possible ground in this circle, and they keep getting a little bit of favor here. They do have to be careful, though, as Vietnam is coming in from that north side. But they are staying four strong, making sure that they don't get flanked on here. As Thailand is getting wrecked here by Australia, Argentina, pretty much anybody here at this intersection. This is going to be a rough crossing for Thailand. Vietnam, they hear the shots going off, and they think it's time to move. But unfortunately, Canada do have their number red. They know exactly where they are, and they're still keeping control of that hillside. Once the circle does move, if it's not a hard shift towards them, they will have to come down for the protection of that. But they have a good 30% amount of land, and that's why it's quite an important battle. Thailand still falling, unfortunately, to Argentina. One player has made it up close and personal. Pomay, his teammate, bleeding out of the wayside. He knows that the door, he'll hit the footsteps. In we come. Gets the call. Job done. Bye-bye. And the res is there. Thailand is 10th. Rough spot there for Thailand. They knew you had to believe that they saw Korea going out in that kill feed early. Let's see a reaching grenade here. Maybe a little exploratory grenade. We'll be checking on Uba. He's going to land the shots on SR. And Chinese Taipei is just pinned to this wall. This is the risk that you take by taking this position so early on. And if he doesn't have any smokes, you can't get that res. He's, yeah. he's a dead man. It's as simple as that. And I know he's got SR in his name and a K98 above his head. If he's a sniper by nature, I'm <laughs> sorry, like buddy, but you're doing nothing. Help me. I can. I have no smokes. Oh, here we go. This is the push that we were waiting to see from Vietnam onto Canada. Maluk is going to go down. Oof. They're going to trade him out immediately with Nim. And we have a 3v3 right now of players up Canada. Keeping an eye on everything here. What's the... Oh, how did Sapal get behind him? Oh my god, he went down low. That's this is what not needs to happen. You've got the nade on that one player. You don't want to fixate on that. If they get if Canada gets tunnel visioned on this, Sapau is going to murder them. There is no way that they're anticipating this uh complete rap by Sapau. This is unbelievable. Here he comes, he's right behind him. Look at Moody, he has no idea, and he's feet from him. He's gonna go down instantly. You have to keep going now, you can't stop. If you get the flush, that's great, but you've been called out. Canada now knows exactly where you are. They'll have the vision shortly. Comes out, switches. That oh. is a great response from Maluk. Puts the hammer down, but Nim, he sees them. Hey, he them. That's it. What a fantastic work for Canada to stay alive. They lose two, but still, they're in the game. What a valiant effort. That sweep could have been fantastic, but... I will say this, to be able to get that shot at that range with an automatic weapon is incredible. A phenomenal idea from Vietnam. Extremely high IQ, but an even equally greater response coming out of Canada. They're landing their shots, they're winning their fights. Sure, they're only two up, but they're still in this thing. Argentina still falling alive, just outside the circle. Australia hold them. Not quite dead to rights, but certainly dead aim. That's two of them back to back. One grenade will seal the deal. How much do they have in the tank? Remember, we've seen players knocked already. They're committing to the reses. Two of them in there. He doesn't have any grenades. He needs his teammate support and help. Fails on the building, maybe. I was going to say maybe he backs off from this one with a barrel. Of course, on personal, you're going to be laughing. That's going to be easy kills for days if they do decide to try and breach. The bleed out. So there must have been some kind of annoyance or tagging one of the players because they have managed to take one down inside. He's found two again. That surely is Argentina down to one. And look at this, Russia, Uba, has, they've been managed, uh, they've had to push out of the compound to make their way over to this hill. Germany was unable to keep them from doing so. One down, it's down to just Kane. Can they get something off of this? Uba is going to get taken out, and no, that's going to be Germany getting flushed out. Senya should be able to get rezzed here, as this is now Russia having complete control over the whole southern side of this small circle. Well, that's the bigger nuance of the grenades. When you put them down, it's not necessarily a smoke or a flashbang. But it's so disorientating, the noise, the ringing in the ears, the shaking of the screen, that you can push up like that. Throw a nade, get stuck in, drive it into them, and it's job done. They do, they take them out, we're down to eight players remaining, three more teams. <sighs> Where do we stand? Okay, Australia, one side of the map. They should be pushed out with this next circle, you would assume. Let's see where it goes. Does it fixate to the center? Yes, it does. Russia, four up. 
Canada, two alive on the hillside. They have to come down. That protection is now gone. They're inside the circle, but that's as far as they can really go. The largest amount of work that has to be done here is by Australia. Yeah, Russia, I mean, they've got the numbers advantage right now, but they are by in, in no means secured in this victory. They are playing from some really poor positioning here. Canada, obviously, with that high ground spot, they can keep their information flow in check. They could come out on top of this. They could pull off a miracle. The one thing I want to point out here, and we are trying to build a story of how this all could potentially unfold. Korea, they went down early. What was that, a 14th place 14th placement? Place. Only two points. You're now looking at two teams here in the form of Russia and Canada. Coming into this match, they were third and fourth. Yes. This is what needs to happen. The teams at the top need to do well. Your number one spot needs to do bad. This is the perfect scenario. Another game like this, and it literally is game on for every single team in this competition. Everybody here about these two teams of roughly 30-ish points behind Korea. Russia already with eight kills. Canada with six. Can they add to that total? Can they bring it up to close to 20? That is a huge, huge jump to pick up on the Korean lead. All quiet on the Western front for now. Drassel looking for a pick. He's a marksman who can. We've been watching this boy since he won Gamescom 2017, all the way back in the day. One He's an absolute best. marksman with a bolt action. He can do wonders with this. Oh, the spray from Senya. He's going to find one in the smoke inside. He's going to try to make his way up. He gets taken low now by Uba. Can they find off the kill here? What is Canada doing here? Canada actually going to steal the kill. That's going to be one going over there. So they went for the point. Seven. And they went for the we play. Go. That's fantastic. That's good. The only other thing they could have done were maybe, maybe third party into Russia and take away some utility. Take away a manpower from them. Because now they're stuck on a hillside. Well, right now, look how spread out Russia is. This is how they need to be, given the size of the circle. They do have multiple lines of sight on this. Kmon going to pull that vehicle to a stop. But this is this is rough for Russia. If, if Canada can find a way to maybe snipe Ooh, somebody Drassel. here, Drassel, the sniper from North America, pulling out that DMR. He's going to get Senya. There's no way that res comes through. Oob is getting close, though. He's lurking, looking to play spoiler. One grenade will get the job. The grenade follow-up could be real. He's uh -oh. already weak. It's in. It's cooked. It's prime. Bye, oh. bye, K mind. And now it comes down to Drassel. What can he do? What's in the tank? What's left? He's still with the SLR trying to get a clip, but when you've got three angry Russians, oh, okay, he's no. going to go to the blue. This is fine. I'm okay, okay with this. This okay. is absolutely fine. When you know it's Russia, when yeah. you know it's them, that's the better play. Denied You're trying to get above them. He's just essentially taken a point away from them. But let's not take anything away from Russia. They are the winners. They pick up a chicken dinner in game 13. That is huge. They were third coming into this. Korea, they went down early. This competition, Poro, just got a little bit more interesting. That's 20 points for Russia. They came into this game with 84. That's going to push them up to 104. Keep in mind, Korea came in with 115. Should be sitting at around 117. So that gap that Korea had built over the two games on Miramar has now shrunk dramatically. You could see what the backup plan there was. I almost touched on it a little bit. I, I genuinely thought at first both of them may commit to the blue and just deny the points. The vehicle was put up against the white. That was supposed to be the emergency buffer. 